All right. All right. We're at the bench. We're at the bench. This is this is old school. We've been riding for this headwind for ages. It is. It's yeah. like a good old Francis K video from two years ago. Yeah. Except Sav's here. She'd never been. I didn't introduce you yesterday. Sorry, Sav. Whoa, whoa, whoa. personal space. Let's <laughs> ride like five meters away from each other. Yeah. <laughs> Well, quick spin back. Good to get out on the bike a little bit. Doing some gravel on my lovely clean road bike. Yeah, good to get out and turn the legs over a little bit. Wasn't actually planning on riding today. Just because it was gonna rain, it will almost definitely start raining in a minute. Got a little bit of work to catch up on later on. But unfortunately, most plans are cancelled because of the virus. On the plus side, tailwind home. And uh, it's a good road, this, look. Nice. I'm smashing it everywhere when I'm riding on my own. Because since the storm was a couple of weeks back, the wind has been consistent and super strong. So every time you've got a headwind, obviously you've got to ride hard into it. And then every time you've got a tailwind, obviously you've got to ride as fast as you can. So, it's knackering. So I was gonna be uh, filming Paris Bay with Astana, so I ordered myself some tubeless valves so I can run a um, new set of 30 mil tires, but Kind of pointless now. I guess I'll set them up anyway. I went for the uh, longest ones you can get because then I can switch them around wheels if I need to. What's that, like 80, 90? Got to admit, it is actually quite nice to have a bit more time here in the UK. The novelty of traveling, although I'm in a very lucky position to be able to do it, does get pretty tiring after a while. One too many airports, I think. So being at home, being able to focus on some other bits of work and things that I've been putting off for ages, as well as other hobbies, has been quite nice. Speaking of other hobbies, there's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I know a few of you um, quite like asking about my guitars and want to know a little bit more about them. This is my number one. I've been meaning to restring it for a while. It's a 1961 Stratocaster with a refin. Not a reissue, if you know you know. Quite an old refinish, as you can see. But I've been meaning to uh, restring it for a while now. The strings are a bit dead. So considering I've got a bit of time on my hands for once, Bike tools always come in handy. Guitar maintenance, much easier than bikes. Windy thing, the most important tool when it comes to restringing your guitar, because nobody has time to do this by hand. Twisting, twisting. You gotta stretch them in. It sounds like uh, with a set of new strings on it. That's no effects pedals or anything, just straight into a Yamaha TRH10, which is like a little practice amp. So it sounds alright. I don't know how nicely uh, this little microphone picks it up because it might be a bit loud for it, but let me know what you think. So, for you viewers who are not in the guitar world at all, um, Fender Stratocaster, which is this guitar, uh, was first made in the 50s and it's probably the most commonly used style of guitar out there. It's three single coil pickups, um, basically 
bolted to a piece of wood. It's really simple. This switch means you can switch between the three different pickups. And then you've got volume and tone. You turn the tone all the way down. It makes it sound a little bit more muffled as if you're listening to something in another room. You can twiddle all of these and change between the pickups to get different noises out of it. And there are loads of uh, famous guitar players who use exactly this style of guitar. It hasn't really changed at all since it was released in the 50s. So you can still buy a guitar brand new that looks exactly like this, maybe without all the uh, dents in it. But yeah, played throughout the years by guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Really, really popular choice in the world of guitars. Anyway, bit of an unusual topic for the vlog. That is one of my guitars. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments because I've got a few hidden away. And yeah, hope you enjoyed that little segment. Now I was chatting to Lawrence earlier and we're planning to do a bit of a longer ride tomorrow. Uh, we're still kind of waiting to see what the government says about the whole self-isolation thing. Today, there were people in cafes as usual, though doing a bit of reading online, I kind of would err on the side of caution. And I think we're gonna try and keep numbers to a minimum, uh, but still go riding if possible. Sounds like the jam guys who are out in Spain are having a little bit of a nightmare because they can't even leave the house on the bikes at all, even solo, uh, without getting or risking a 3,000 euro fine, which sounds absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, hang out indoors for the rest of today, catch up with some work, maybe play some of that, and, uh, and see what happens. Just uh, keeping an eye on the news all the time. I know our government's having a few meetings about things today, and I get the vibe that the general public do want a little bit of direction, or more direction than they've had so far anyway. But yeah, fingers crossed, ride tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed today's video, even though it was a little different. I really appreciate you guys watching and your continued support, and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow.